Okay, hi guys, welcome back. Okay, today I'm gonna to teach some of you. No, I'm not. Okay, um, some people have asked me, uh, can we just do a normal shoot without any camera equipment? Well, of course you can. Um, lights are lights, and you can pick up some lights at the maybe your local hardware store. Everyone, everyone has one of these in their, in their pocket. So, oh, there's the iPhone. This one's the iPhone 11 Pro. Um, and there's some good apps out there that help you to control things like your shutter speed, your ISO, etc. And this, this, this video is aimed at people who don't have access to expensive studio lighting and camera equipment, but want to still take good quality photos of a product or a still life, or you know maybe it's even a portrait for your Instagram. Uh, we're not gonna do portraits today, we can at a later stage, but I think the principles still apply. Um, can we use lighting that you may find around your house or that you can purchase relatively cheaply at your hardware store? Uh, let's, let's get to it. If I put these on, I mean, they look smarter. I can't see anything. I can't see the camera, it's so blurry. Cool, Shh, let's do it. <laughs> do it so um, I don't have an amazing uh, product to shoot with the Yankee candles is quite good a lot of people do quite like them um, but I just thought we would, we would start with a little still life uh, just using something I found around the house so a couple of candles um, let's see how we can light that as you can see from the picture I've got one light for for filming myself uh, behind but everything else is shut off now I want to light the scene a bit better so I was talking about using uh, stuff that you can buy from a hardware store but let's say you don't want you're doing one shoot you want to sell I don't know the Christmas present that you didn't like uh, on eBay or your old phone or something and you just want to light this thing once shoot it with your iPhone get it up on eBay make it look as good as you can because we all know that the better the photograph um, the better your product will sell. Um, so these are like, I got them for like 20 pounds from the hardware store. They are LEDs, uh, whew, quite bright, they have two powers, so no three powers. Uh, off, on, it's like 100% and then like 50%. So let's light my candles. Let's light the candles, <laughs> so funny. Right, we've got two of these. The app I'm gonna use is Halide, but you can use a standard Apple photography app if you don't have that, but I'm just thinking I like using, um, the like about this app is that you have massive amounts of control over all the things you need to control. You know, your shutter speed, your ISO, uh, your exposure. So, uh, ISO, ISO 21 on the phone, it's pretty low, pretty good. The shutter speed at the moment is one one hundredth of a second. Um, it's looking a little bit underexposed. Now the reason why I'm doing this anyway is because I can, I can use the DNG, so the raw files, take them into Lightroom, polish them up. If you don't have access to that, then I will also show you how you can use it just using the standard um, photo app, camera app in iPhone. So I can go into my exposure compensation and as you can see, you know, on the Halide app, you get your rule of thirds, you get a nice thirds grid going both ways. Um, I set my horizon on my lower third, so we got a little bit of that gray background, um, just to give it a bit of uh, punch behind and just give it a bit of contrast from your ground. Uh, and your horizon sky if you like so it's quite a it's quite a cool app it's really easy to use although it's not as intuitive things are not where you think they might be i put on autofocus so focusing in that's it you know it's easy as that you take a shot let's have a look zoom in now you know these lights are quite bright they are not that diffuse and not that soft uh you can if you want take a bit of trace or even if you don't have access to that piece of A4 paper 
just pop it in front of your light and just it just diffuses that a little bit more yeah so I'm shooting in raw uh, I'm using autofocus I've zoomed in to two times so that's the uh, telephoto lens on the iPhone it's looking a little dark what I'm getting is a little bit of a horizon shadow behind which I'm not really liking so I might just for this one just pick this light up and just hold it up there and just shoot that so you have to play around with your lights get the right angles it's really simple two lights um, you know I've got a ground and a background the backdrop is just my grey wall not quite as balanced so now you have to work on things like composition so at the moment I've got this little candle in the front but it's looking like it's out of proportion it's also touching the others in terms of the visuals so which I don't really like how can I separate those let's have a look I mean everything's in focus which is good try something different I'm gonna shoot a uh, flower vase standard still life like when, when you're doing art you do still life flowers or fruit oh, let's do flowers so what I'm getting here and you probably see it actually you can see it definitely on this camera um, two this is a copper vase so it's quite reflective and you're getting two massive reflections from these two very bright LED lights which are you know, seriously, they're that big and they're really condensed. Let's try, mix it up. Let's try and lift these lights up uh, and see what happens. So, if I lift that up, I'll take a shot. Yeah, that's really good because actually I am losing one of the highlights on that side. But what I need is a assistant to hold one light here and hold the other light there while I take a shot. <laughs> Uh, I don't have an assistant, so I need three hands. How can I do that? Um, hmm, struggling to come up with something. What if we use only one line? annoying damn shooting reflective surfaces is really hard and frustrating I'm gonna try shooting these beats now these are quite dark they're still reflective so I wonder if I can bounce some light off the ceiling would that help me let's have a look I'm gonna bounce that off there and already I can actually see the difference in my composition and I can see the lighting. I can actually see this nice diffused light. And I'm using one for bounce, so I'm using this one, shooting it up. It's kind of like my big fill light, if you like. It's just giving it a spread that's reflecting off the roof just over the whole thing. Now, if I shoot that, it's, um, you know, it's not bad. And now let's light this with the other light and shoot that again. So there are massive options. You can use these lights. They're, they're never going to be as good as studio lights. But I tell you what, when you start to experiment with them, when you start to experiment with them, you can you can get away with stuff. You can actually bounce these things off your walls, your ceiling, get a nice flat diffused light. 
Thanks for watching. Um, hope you learned something. Uh, I know I did. I was literally, I've never done this before. I was literally experimenting and learning as I went. And I think that's, that's part of the fun, right? Uh, you don't learn anything by not trying stuff. Uh, so try stuff, experiment. Uh, I highly recommend it. Um, so these, these lights, I think, they're definitely usable. They're quite harsh. Uh, you need to figure out a way to shape them a bit. So I found that bouncing and diffusing them are definitely the way to go. And then if you can do that, then they're definitely usable. Uh, reflective surfaces, whew, hard to shoot. Um, very difficult. Uh, pros struggle with them. Um, the shots that you see in, in advertising have been, you know, a lot of them have been edited and retouched. I do believe that this is a, a necessity in, in doing, you know, advertising shots. Uh, it's part of the process, um, I, but I also believe that you know you shouldn't think uh, we can fix it in post. I think you should try and get your shots as near to perfect as possible in shoot. I also realised that um, you know I need to explain things like rule of thirds because not everybody knows what that is. Um, to more experienced photographers, we, we kind of take these things for granted. Um, all the links to the equipment are below. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Be cool. Until next time. Can I go now? I'm done. Yeah, can I have the rest of the day off? Okay. Cool.